Hello everybody, how y'all doing on this hump day? Yeah, Wednesday. Or in my neighborhood known as trash day. <laughs> Definitely uh, trying to take the trash out <laughs> or get rid of all the trash. Yeah, especially with this new moon. I know, it's great. Um, new moons, of course, being all about a new cycle, new beginnings, so on and so forth. And definitely this reading is reflecting that uh, quite a bit. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into this. All right. First up, Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed Find out what sort of spirit animals we have around us. All right. First card from the bottom of the deck, the number 55 card, the 5-5 five five card, Snake Spirit, Time to Heal. And it just dawned on me, I was dreaming about snakes um, this morning when I got home from work. <laughs> yeah, and it, I, it just dawned on me, I forgot all about that. I, I was dreaming about snakes um, and, until I just saw this card. Okay, yeah, definitely. All right. Okay, next up. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a minute for things to catch up with you, doesn't it? All right, top of the deck, number 53 card. That's the 5-3 card, the Seahorse Spirit, Watch and Wait. And interestingly, we have the Seahorse Spirit looking at the, yeah, at the Snake Spirit. Uh, I had to, uh, yeah, I had to catch up, had let my brain catch up there for a minute. But interestingly, though, the snake has his back tor turned towards the seahorse spirit so possibly that um you're not realizing that maybe um something that you're going through or whatever you turn your back on it for right now maybe it's time for you to watch and wait before you actually go through a healing thing or something i don't know unfortunately that's for you to decide okay to make that determination but one way or another oops Sorry, you've got this guy here watching this guy, watching and waiting to see how you're going to actually do some healing. Okay? All right. Moving on. Also from the top of the deck, the last card, the number 39 card, that's the 3-9 card, Moss Spirit, Surrender Now. Okay? So basically what this is telling me with these three cards, with the, all right, you've got this guy, this guy here, you know, watching this guy, but at the same point, you know, to, you maybe turn your back on, on the watching weight, maybe trying to rush through or turn your back on healing or something like that. But at the same point in the very end, you're being, you're being told, you know what? Surrender. Okay. It's okay to heal. All right. So that, I don't remember, added up to three, all about that creative self-expression. Okay. All right, the, other, the second deck I was called to today is the original Rider Waite Tarot Pack, okay? This is the 19, I think it's the 1971 version, I, and of course I can't read, yeah, 1971 version, okay? All right, from the bottom of the deck, very interesting card to pull, is actually from the Major Arcana, the number 16 card, The Tower which to, to me falls right in line with this guy here. Possibly telling, you know, maybe you have just recently gone through some sort of a tower moment, you know, where things have gotten shaken up. Maybe you're going through it right now. Maybe it's something that is going to be happening with this new cycle that we're starting today, okay? One way, one way or another, it's definitely going to be a healing time, all right? Okay. Uh, the rest of these cards come from the top of the deck, all right? Uh, I used the Celtic cross with this, by the way. <laughs> Forgot to, to, to mention that. All right. Um, first card um, in the underneath position, Six of Swords. Definitely move. Uh, it, this is something that is supposed to happen. You are definitely on the right path. You're, move, you're in a safe place. You're moving towards whatever it is that is going to um, be helping you. Okay. What is, um, oh, um, that's basically in the shadow position. What is overshadowing it? Three of Pentacles. Letting you know, you know, because this guy here facing 
this at the same time, even though it's being overshadowed, let you know what it is that you're moving towards is helping you to build that solid foundation. All right. What's crossing all this or uh, crossing all this over two of wands, making those plans that we've been talking about for quite a while and everything new plans for the future. Okay. Message from above nine of pentacles. It's helping you to build self-confidence. All right. Message from below, page of wands, helping you get some of that youthful fire energy back. So in that way you can, as you notice, also this guy is looking right at, at they're both looking at each other. It, you're, this guy, it's, it's helping you with this guy as well. Okay, getting some of that youthful fiery energy back into your life. All right, for those beautiful future plans. All right, in the past position, from the Major Arcana, the number five card, the Hierophant. St you know, keeping yourself grounded, following your rituals, you know, your daily practices, you know, putting those things back into place and so forth. Very, very important to, with uh, your grounding work and so forth. All right. And the n near future uh, position, Two of Swords. Definitely keep those he healthy boundaries set up. Keep your keep yourself protected. Follow your intuition, especially when it comes to, you know, narcissistic sort of situations and so forth. Okay. It will help you. How you see yourself right now. This is a beautiful card. I absolutely love this and it fits right in, especially with it being Leo season and Leo new moon and everything. Major Arcana, the number 19 card, the sun card. That's how you see yourself right now. Beautiful, glowing, wonderful energy. Shine your beautiful light as brightly as you possibly can. Definitely. In the surrounding environment, uh, this could be uh, either somebody around you who may be influencing you or trying to influence you, or it could be yourself even. From the Major Arcana, again, the number four card, the Emperor. Either someone who is trying to control you or you are learning how to control yourself. You are learning how to become a leader. Could be one or the other, all right? Especially if you're maybe going through something that's kind of chaotic right now, maybe you are learning how to be this guy or to overcome somebody who is like this. So in that way, you can be this, okay? All right. Your hope, and the, it's actually in the hope or fear position, but this is a beautiful card, so I'm considering it a, a, more of a hope. Ten of Cups, beautiful, beautiful energy, beautiful, happy outcome. Basically, it's a happy outcome card, all right? And I know that because of the outcome card, Page of Pentacles. Putting yourself out there. It's an, yeah, putting, basically putting your talents out there, taking your talents and giving them out there to the world, to the universe, to share, to spread, basically spreading your talents. Okay. All right. The additional three cards also pull from the top of the deck. Uh, actually an aspect of the emperor, four swords, take it easy, get some rest, relax. Okay. Yeah. We may be going through this or have gone through this or whatever. Now it's time to rest, relax, heal. Definitely. Sit back, watch and wait and heal. Surrender. Okay. And also one card to help remind you of who it is that you really are. From the Major Arcana, the number one card, the Magician. You've got all of those talents everything that you need to help be this guy here okay definitely so knight of pentacles take it slow and steady don't try and rush it or anything just take it slow and steady and easy all right all this added up to seven uh, which is of course all about intuition everything added up together perfect for today one new beginning all right if you like this message please hit that like button Subscribe, 
hit those notification buttons and please share and don't forget to head on over to, to the new blog. Love you all. Talk to you all tomorrow.